Hey, hello guys. How are y'all doing? Welcome to my channel. And yeah, I have a very bad throat pain now. So I don't know. I am kind of sorry for you. I don't know. I, I shouldn't be really sorry to be honest. Am I being too nice? Because it's not my fault that I have fever or I have sore throat. So why I'm gonna say sorry but yeah that's interesting thing but I'm still sorry because there's nothing like there's nothing false to say sorry or there's nothing bad about saying sorry like there's nothing bad about being nice I guess but anyways uh, let's go into the topic so let's talk about matrix and how real it is and is it possible to stay out of matrix or how to stay out of matrix at all now the thing is first you need to realize that the world is the world runs by money and yeah the world runs by money and one money influences other money <coughs> now anyways ksi if you don't know ksi was talking about that how school teaches you to be an employee, not a businessman. And that actually does make every sense because it's why would school teach you to be businessman because they don't need businessmen. Because businessmen doesn't need more businessmen. Businessman needs employ. They teach you to be employed because that's gonna help the economy on their side, the richest side. Because the more people are gonna be rich, the more hard will be to be rich, and the more I would say not rare to be rich. So you could not feel special almost. I don't know. Now, for example, uh, would you ever see a gaming company, or for example, Telltale Games, or biggest gaming like publishers or companies, Telltale Games, Skybound Gaming? Uh, EA Sports, do you think these companies will ever state that gaming is not that good? The gaming is just time waste? No, they would obviously not say that because <coughs> they want people to game. Why they want people to game? Because they want their game to be sold. They have worked so hard to be made the game. and So they want people to play the game. They don't care about people. Like if people actually enjoy it or not, they care about games. They care about money. So that's how the world works. The Matrix is definitely a real thing. And I think the Matrix world became popular by Andrew Tate. To be honest, I disagree with Andrew Tate in a lot of things. I disagree with him. But that thing I don't disagree with. The Matrix stuff. Uh, Matrix is really true. But I disagree with this one point. Andrew Tate said that anybody can escape the matrix. Now I don't think that's true. And <coughs> yeah, anybody, the thing is, anybody can escape the matrix, but everybody can escape the matrix, right? Because it won't make sense. The world really doesn't work like this. If everybody became businessmen, yeah, if everybody became businessmen, then who the fuck? will be the employees. Who the fuck would be the cameraman? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, right? You are telling like skip matrix, fuck matrix, but you still have employees and so do you want your employees to get out of the get out of the company? That's weird. <coughs> you just need to understand the world is a really harsh place. Not everybody can win in this world. The world is not fair it will never be fair and it's a harsh place and in the world somebody would be happy and another, another person would not be happy it's just luck and I don't know so yeah <coughs> I think gaming is a gaming is an amazing way to forget about reality because gaming visualizes you in the different spot like Gaming visualize you to a world where you almost forget about the real world, almost. 
your real world really sucks and really hard and really meaningless to you. <coughs> a lot of people just came to escape reality. And be something in that game. Why do you think people emote in PUBG and Fortnite after killing some people? Because that's the reality. The gaming world is the reality. But another thing, like if you don't know about me, uh, I was a pro PUBG mobile player. But then I was a very pro PUBG mobile player in 2020. But then in 2021, a really bad thing happened to me. But I lost my phone. I don't know how I just went out with my phone and I just and it was raining and my phone fell out of the for my pocket and my uh, the, the trousers I wore is very bad quality so my phone just fell off and I, yeah and I couldn't find that phone again but then <coughs> obviously I didn't have any phone so I stopped playing games and I got the most depressed I've ever became uh, after I, I like I stopped playing games, I got so depressed too. I got so fucking depressed. <coughs> and that was the worst time of my life. And, uh, at that time I realized that without foes or without gaming, my life is meaningless. And without gaming, I don't have anything going on in my real life. So... Yeah, kind of out of topic, but I needed to say that. But anyways, I basically think not everybody can escape Matrix, but everybody can try to make, make escape Matrix, and I think you should try. And if you fail, it doesn't matter, dude. At least you tried, I guess. So yeah, what can we say, man? The fact that I'm, I'm really making videos for the fucking throat sick is crazy. <coughs> I should have talked right now because I'm just Throat sick. So I'm making videos anyways. Like basically everybody wants to earn money. For example, people are hyped for GTA 6, including me, because I'm a big gamer. I would be hyped for this like this. And it's crazy. It's really crazy how gaming is bigger than ever. And not probably bigger than ever, but really still huge. And GTA 6 would big bring gaming to life. I grew up playing like Pokemon, GBA games and this kind of games. Really fun. It was really fun. <coughs> so yeah, I think I believe in the quote that not everybody can escape Matrix, but everybody can try to escape Matrix. And uh, not anybody can ex escape Matrix. Not any anybody can escape Matrix, but everybody can. So everybody can. Oh, sorry, sorry. <coughs> Anybody can escape the Matrix, but not everybody can escape the Matrix. That's my favorite quote. But I disagree with Andrew Tate on this point. That Andrew Tate thinks that if you just work hard, uh, it will happen. You'll be rich. Da, da, da. It's bullshit. So many people work low, will work hard, low, in low minimum pay jobs. That are they rich? Absolutely not. But they, do they work hard? Absolutely. So working hard doesn't really have anything to do with being rich or not. <coughs> Yeah. Uh, well, Andrew Tate just tried to be famous, so he says a lot of outrageous stuff. So I guess. <coughs> so I guess that's what is this video. Watch my old videos. Watch my new videos. I make cool videos like this. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And press the press the bell icon to see more videos like this. Share this video with friends, family. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And thanks for watching this video. And pray for me for well. And bye. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I'm fucked.